all right? It's the exact same thing. So when you're adding, subtracting, and multiplying, you're going to treat your i just like you as a variable. So how would I add these two complex numbers? Well, what we want to do is we want to make sure we add the reals to the reals and the imaginary to the imaginary. And remember, in complex number system, we have a plus bi, where a represents your real number and bi represents your imaginary number. So what I'm simply going to do is just do 3 plus 4 and then negative i plus 2i. So therefore, my final answer is 7 plus i. And make sure whenever you simplify complex numbers, you always, always, always write it in the form of a plus bi. So it's in complex form. All right? Now, if you guys wanted to look at um, another way to, actually, I'll do that with subtraction, so I won't do that. Yes? Your b in this one would be negative 1. Because you could, huh? b is a real number as well, yes. It's like, remember I told you to think about it like your variables? What's negative x plus 2x? No. What's negative 1 plus 2? 1. Remember, guys, when you combine variables, all you're doing is combining the coefficients of the, of the variables. So when you're adding and subtracting variables, all you're doing is adding and subtracting the coefficients of the variables. Think about it. A lot of times, since they have the same term, think of like subtract one apple plus two apples. You're going to have one apple. 